have an opportunity to give, uh, so says the song. Um, and I am honored today to be facilitating that opportunity for us to, to give. <coughs> um, I think if it was up to me, um, I would speak all day uh, regarding giving. Um, but because of the luxury of time, unfortunately, I'll keep it short. Um, <clears throat> what I do want to share with everyone today comes from the second book of Corinthians. Um, my favorite uh, book, or my favorite books uh, from Corinthians, because uh, if you look closely at the first book of Corinthians as well as the second book of Corinthians, it echoes two letters that were written by Paul as sent by God. Um, and if you look closely at the letters or the tone of um, the letters that were written, you will take note that the things or the issues that were being addressed by Paul are exactly what we are experiencing today. So what was happening back in Corinth quite a number of years ago is what we are seeing in the world today. So just in summary, the, the second letter which is 2 Corinthians, deals with quite a number of complex issues uh, that Paul wanted to address. The first of which I'm not going to get too much into was reconciliation and forgiveness. The second one was a defense of his own ministry as someone who was sent um, to Corinth by God. The third one was the power of weakness and a new way of living. But the one that I want to focus on today is that of generous giving, which we can find um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, uh, verse 9. Chapter 9, verse 7, sorry. <clears throat> the verse reads as follows it says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So, you know, this Bible verse speaks to me quite a lot because it, it echoes giving willingly um, without anyone having to push you to give. So today, while we have an opportunity to give, like the song we sang was saying, um, I think I'd just like us to be mindful of the fact that we are giving willingly because that, that's what God loves. Um, he loves a cheerful giver. And when you consider giving, that is not the only thing that God considers. Um, there are blessings from giving. And the blessings from given, giving can be seen in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9 to 10 which reads as follows, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops, then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vast will brim over with new wine. So, you know, considering giving with an open heart does not just necessarily mean you are giving and God will love you and that's it. But there are results from giving. You reap what you sow in that kind of a relationship. So as we give to you, let us just be mindful of giving with will and be mindful that giving with will comes with the results. Whether or not the results come today, tomorrow, next year, uh, that is up to God. Our responsibility is to give. So with that, uh, we can come and give, but uh, I'd like to have a short prayer before we, we come and give. <coughs> let's, let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and we thank you for another opportunity, Lord Jesus, to come before you to give. We would like to wholeheartedly come before you. 
Yeah. 